Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back here at the hangar working on the gyro and today it's a little bit different. So I actually, we ran out of battery last night when we were putting what I'm about to show you guys on, but I wanted to give you a quick little overview where we left off. So last time when we were here, we got the fuel tanks, the fuel rail, like the, the uh, fuel clamps all sorted out, put on the machine. Um, we started putting on parts of the pre-rotator uh, but then we just finished and I forgot to actually record because I got here and just got too excited to build it But we got the extra uh, Oil tank because this is a two cycle motor. So this is an extra oil tank that feeds the motor One thing that Dennis does put on this thing is absolutely just this is just shows how how key how into detail he is is he actually put the, the fluid ounces on one of the uh, holders here once you put everything together. And that really stands out because that is really helpful when you're trying to figure out, you know, how much how much oil you have left, not only with looking at it and seeing how much there is. So today we're kind of trying to figure out where we need to go next with the project. So today, I think what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be mounting the seat onto the gyro. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna soft put it on. And while I was doing this, I actually noticed that we missed two spacers that go right there. Uh, I just saw them whenever, uh, we were looking over there in the bag, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be kind of trying to soft place the seat and Get it on there and then we can kind of find out where I am as far as how I want the joystick to be mounted a little bit soft a little bit harder because right now it's kind of Free flowing and it's kind of laying on back there on that tube and I don't really like that um, So I kind of want to mount the seat and then I'll probably hop in and just kind of feel everything out and actually get to sit in this thing for the first time so what we've got over here is some seat spacers right here. And I was kind of, I pulled up the uh, subframe diagram that shows where these things go. That's actually where I found out that we missed these two washers or these two spacers right here. And they go right there. So I'm gonna take these bolts out real quick, throw these spacers in and then start finding out where we need to put these uh, seat spacers. Then hopefully we can mount up the seat and I can get the first sit in in the gyro.
Sometimes you have to focus. Yeah.
do, mm. take these off, it washes in the space and out. This, this one doesn't have a washer, this one does. Uh, we're going to have to put quite a few washers in between. Here, I fight them around. Tighten these. At least I gotta tighten mine. I don't know if yours is tight. This one? Mm -hmm. 
made these to rest your heels on so your feet don't fall off like that. Probably so. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. How you kind of that free movement in the Yeah, because then push it where you actually turn the wheel. That's where you turn the wheel right there. But when you're rolling, it's yes, you're, it's going to be a lot easier. The, the the wheel will move a lot easier, yeah. All, with the whole, all of it will move, yeah. Now it's just dead weight sitting still. Yeah, it's hard to. Huh. All right guys, so a big update, big time, big reveal for the gyro. We got the seat on and it looks beautiful. We got, so we got everything bolted in and then we also just for just looks and trying to kind of sit in it. I couldn't help myself. We put the cover on, that'll, that'll have to come back off because other stuff mounts to the seat. But not only that, we got the cyclic quadrant all put on. Now this is all obviously loosely put together and we don't even have the grip on the grip is over there and our all of our electronics should be coming in with the next week so we're obviously you know this is the push to talk button that goes right on here on top that's going to take some wiring to the radio so we're obviously not going to put that on right now we don't want to you know put it all together just for looks and then have to try and take this little set screw back out and pull that button back off to wire it to the radio so the seat itself is on secure but everything else is kind of just just put on just to, for looks and just so we could get in and kind of feel what it all feels like. So I finally was able to get the first sit in the new gyro. And I, I can just tell you right now that that Kirky racing seat with that cover that Dennis provides is super, super comfortable. And I'm not a small guy and that thing hugs me perfectly. 
And you know, with no body, a lot of people are actually really scared of these single place gyros just because everything is all open. But really the feel of that chair really hugs you and really makes it feel like you're really planted in that machine. So I have a feeling I'm not even gonna actually even notice that there's no cover or box around me. I know that I'm not gonna, I know that I'm gonna notice it, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because that chair just really hugs really nice. But hopefully within the next week, we'll have the instruments. We can start putting the pod on there and then we can actually wire up and see what that stick actually looks like. Now, the grip that Dennis sent us. So now what I was thinking is for the grip, this is the grip that Dennis sends us. It's just a Scott racing grip with just a hole punch through it um, for the push to talk button. But what I was what I was thinking of doing is I have some of these for on my WR250R, my Yamaha dirt bike. Um, they're pro taper pillow tops and they're kind of like gray, almost like the machine aluminum, but they're blue capped and blue ringed. So they might match the gyro just a little bit more. So I think I may pick a pair of those up, punch a hole in the top and uh, see what they look like on that cyclic instead of just the all black one. Now the all black one will match this, but I think that the the uh, gray pillow top with the blue would really match the overall full theme of the gyro just so much more. And you know, this, this machine is going to be a beautiful machine. So anything I can do just to add that slight little bit, I think will just, just put it even more over the edge than it already is because it's already just an immaculate machine. We'll do more of that discussion though and then in a further video whenever we actually get the uh, instruments and all that stuff, all the electronics in and we start planning on that. But here is just a quick overview of what we got so far done today. Um, I think we're gonna work on it a little bit more, but there's not really much more that I think we can do until we get the instruments uh, because we need the pre-rotator to put on, but we have to put the gearbox on the motor before we do that. And so we have to wait on that. So here is the first person view of sitting up in this gyrotechnic. It, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. This, All this stuff just feels so nice now. This actually isn't bolted down hardly at all. Like, you know, if we take that bungee cord down there off, it'll just slide back. But it's got, I've got plenty of motion. You know, it's real nice and smooth. But I'm finally sitting in the gyro. But that is just a quick little overview of what we got done so far. If we do do anything else, um, I will turn the camera back on. I'm not sure what else we're going to do next. Um, I know we were trying to get the pre-rotator put on. We're having a couple little issues with that and uh so we're gonna have to do some more research on how to get all that put together and then we're also we got the e-box and the motor from rotax and we think that we either lost or they didn't give us uh some of the bolts to put the the gearbox onto the back of the motor so that's what we were gonna do but i don't think we have the bolts if if they did send them we don't know where they went and like i said the tail section we're all just waiting on the radio and all the electronics to feed the radio wire through the tail before we put it together and that's really like the main components that we're missing is the uh, uh, instruments the tail the prop and all like the the wiring and stuff for the motor and that's really it then we can just put the tail on the pre-rotator on the blades on this thing's ready to fly. So that is just a quick little progress update for tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna actually work on it anymore. If we do, I'll turn the camera back on. Obviously, if there's still some time left in this video, you know we actually worked on it. But yeah, that's just a little progress update. We finally got the seat mounted. Everything just looks all good and we got the first seat in the gyro. All right guys, so it is coming to the end of the night. We decided to try and put on the seat belts but I think we don't really know what we're gonna do about those those holes right there. So we're gonna get in contact with Dennis. But that is gonna be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is snowing now, so me and him are headed out of here. You ready to go? Ready to go. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.